Righto, Toyota champs, the M2 Pro and Max are slow AF. Yes, that's what they're saying. They are so slow. When compared to Intel's and Nvidia's latest laptops that are coming out very soon, well, I'm going to show you some benchmarks. Comparing Intel's new faster CPU to the M2 Max, and you can decide for yourself. Now, I have an M2 MacBook Pro coming in, so make sure you subscribe because I'm not PC, I'm not Mac, I'm unbiased. So if you want to know exactly how it is with no bias, make sure you subscribe. And it's actually eye-watering the difference between the M2 Pro and Max and the latest Intel CPUs. The difference is actually quite big, but it's nothing to do with these laptops not being good, the M2 Pro and Max. They are awesome machines, and if you need a machine right now, get one, because you're going to love it, right? My weapon of choice is this M1 Pro, 14-inch MacBook Pro, and yeah, I used to have the 16-inch, right? Maxed out. 64 gigs RAM, 32 core GPU, and it could actually render at twice the speed of this M1 Pro MacBook Pro 14 that I have now. But here's the deal, and this is why I'm not going to buy the M2 Pro Max. Okay, the maxed out 16 inch renders double the speed of this base model 14, but in the timeline when I'm editing video, I cannot tell the difference. And that's mostly because I use ProRes RAW. HEVC and it's got the encoders there. Yes, the M1 Max had twice the encoders, but I can't tell the difference until I render, right? And the reason I sold my maxed out 16 inch M1 Mac MacBook Pro was because I thought the M2 was coming out at the end of last year. I'm sort of glad it didn't because now I can sort of skip this generation and I'll tell you why I'm not buying it in a sec. Now I've gone on record saying the M1 Pro and Max sort of laptops are the best thing out there. Best laptops, best displays, best battery life, best battery best best and for me they make absolutely sense to buy that it's actually the best laptop i can buy for myself using prores raw hgvc video editing you can't get better even if i bought the most expensive intel and nvidia laptop still doesn't matter because they don't do prores raw well they haven't got hardware encoders for it and in a sec you're going to see a benchmark where the m2s get blown away so the m2 pro and max absolutely get blown away by intel's latest cpus it's not even close However, the magic of these Macs are the hardware acceleration, the media encoders, the silicon on a package architecture where you have, you know, universal memory, low latency, high bandwidth memory for the CPU and GPU. And those things make these MacBook Pros faster than a 28 core Mac Pro. Yeah, it can beat desktops. It was beating 3090 desktops in Puget System Premier Pro. Not the 4090s and the 3900Ks now, but it used to be the 12900K and the 3090, mostly because of the playback in the media engines. But here's the deal, if you're outside the optimization for these Macs, they are slow compared to the competition. And hardware acceleration is not exclusive to Macs or these optimizations. I mean, on Intel, you have QuickSync, you have AVX512, Nvidia have mad encoders, like really good encoders, and we've got AV1 now. These Macs do not support AV1. The latest Macs don't support AV1, and AV1 is the biz, right? Apple will never support it. They've got a sort of format war with Google there, but um, I wish the Macs had AV1. And yes, if you're using the hardware encoders on those devices with, you know, NVIDIA GPUs and Intel CPUs, they're as fast as the Macs, if not faster. So let's have a look at single core Cinebench. So this is outside optimizations of both platforms, right? This is just raw CPU power. And you can see there that the 13980HK is around 20% faster on single core. That's fine. It's not that big of a deal, to be perfectly honest, considering how much more power the Intel uses. But have a look at multi-core. This is an absolute destroyation. Multi-core, the 13980HK, is double the speed of the M2 Max, maxed out. Double the speed in multi-core Cinebench. So if you're doing Cinema 4D or Blender Render or something like that, these Intel CPUs will just destroy the M2 Max. Yes, using double, triple the power, but faster is faster right and yes intel have actually forgot these going laptops that's a good thing about these macs yeah on power off power they perform the same there's a big haircut for the intels when you unplug them but they would still be faster unplugged but the battery life would just drain so fast yeah it is what it is 
I mean, it makes sense to me. It's double the performance. It's going to use double the power, right? Well, it'll actually use triple the power sometimes when it's boosted. So you can see there that the Intel platform is faster. NVIDIA don't even go there with the GPUs. Like the 4090 that goes in laptops is actually an RTX 4080 desktop part with slightly slower memory and a lower TDP. So yeah, it's pretty much desktop performance GPU in a laptop with these 4090 laptops. It will blow away the GPU on the Macs as well. So yeah, even for me now, the weapon of choice is still these Macs, whether it's M1, M2, but seriously, I would be waiting for the M3. Hopefully we can catch up, right? You know, double the score in multi-core for Intel. They've got to catch up a bit there outside of optimizations because it's all right if you're in the optimization zone, but when you're out of it, then you'll notice how slow these are compared to the competition. That is what it is. I'll catch you in the next one, guys. Tally ho.